So for part two here, this is what you guys are going to see most often in the section. It takes a while to get used to. So I'm asking you to solve the equation. Okay, you guys have been doing it a long time. You say, oh, x equals 10, or maybe x equals 10 and negative 12, or you, know, you solve a polynomial and it's got a bunch of different solutions. Okay, but these are trig equations now. So basically, we're trying to find every single theta out there that we can plug in, and it's going to give us square root of 3 over 2, no matter how big or no matter how small. Okay, and typically, as we get into these, they're going to ask for the first eight solutions. Okay, so we'll look at those here. Okay, sometimes you can give the formula, sometimes they want you to give uh, the solutions. But if you can get the formula set up, the solutions aren't too bad at all. So we're, we're not worried about inverses here. Okay, we know sine inverse is only here and here, but it's basically just what can I throw in for a theta that gets me a square root of 3 over 2. So we know it's got to be in quadrant 1 because it's positive. This has to be a square root of 3 and a 2. That makes this guy 60 degrees. Okay, so there's one place. So what we're going to say, and you're always going to want to do these in radians. Okay, if you need to do them in degrees first and convert them, that's up to you. But you're going to see your final answers in radians. So you're going to say pi over 3 plus 2k pi. There's one equation to get everything from here. So we can go all the way around, and then we can come back to the 60. So there's one of them. Okay, now, where else is the sine square root of 3 over 2? Well, it's got to happen over here. So here's your 2, here's your square root of 3. Again, that makes this a 60 degrees for our reference angle, but we care about this guy right here. So that would have to be 120 degrees, which is 2 pi over 3 plus 2k pi. Now, it's a good time to talk about why you have two different equations. A mistake sometimes I see is you think one equation is going to get you all the way there. Okay, So maybe you're to this guy here and you're like, oh, it's only another pi over. Well, it's not. Another pi over from this guy is actually down here, but the sign's now negative, so that doesn't do us any good. When you're doing these sine and cosine ones, you're going to have two equations okay? because of the different way the quadrants work. Tangents are unique, and we'll look at this over the next couple of days, in that if a tangent's positive here, tangents are also positive here, those guys are only pi apart, so you can get away with one equation. If a tangent's negative here, tangent's also negative there, again, those are pi apart. But for sines and cosines, you got to have two equations. Okay, there's our general formulas. Now, if I ask for the first eight solutions, here's what we're going to do. We're basically just going to start kicking in the K. If I get four out of here, and I get four out of there, there's my eight solutions. So you're just going to let K equal zero, one, two, and so on. So my first solution is pi over three. I'm going to do all four for this top one first. Okay. Now, first one's pi over 3, so we have to add fractions without our calculator here. So maybe you want to rewrite this as 6 pi over 3, because that's the same exact thing as 2 pi. So pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3. My next solution happens at 7 pi over 3. I add another 6. There's 13 pi over 3. I add another 6. There's 19 pi over 3. All these are the same angle as positive 60 degrees. Okay, now let's go down to the bottom one. First place it happens is 2 pi over 3. Okay, I let the k be a 1. So I'm adding 2 pi. Convert this into a fraction that makes sense to us. 8 pi over 3. Okay, next one happens at 14 pi over 3. And the last one happens at 20 pi over 3. So you get two general formulas and you got eight total solutions. Okay. 
Now, these equations are going to get a little bit more difficult. You may have to factor, use some strategies you guys are used to with solving equations. Um, our, our fractions in the end may get a little bit uglier. We may have double angle, half angle stuff. But there's kind of a, a general idea of how we want to look at these equations. Okay, so we'll start looking at this stuff tomorrow. Um, the idea is we want to test next Friday. Okay, but if not, then we'll have to push it. So come with questions you guys have, and we'll see you tomorrow.